Hello crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. You are here today to see five interactive journal pages and I am creating these for my prototype journal. So if you wanna know or see more about that, you can check out the link below. You may just be here for the page ideas and that's fine too. I'm gonna quickly go over the pages that we're going to make and then we'll get right into it. And we are going to be creating a flippy floppy fold out thingy. I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little preview of each one. I'll save all of the details for when we get into the video. We are going to be creating this um, booklet full of pockets, I think I called it. Lots of, lots of fun ideas. We're going to be creating this corset binding pocket. This interactive waterfall. It's also a little booklet. And the, I think it was called a tin tuck. Uh, I've, I forget the exact name, but basically it's this fun interactive page that has 10 different tuck spots. So let's get into the video right away. I am going to get started with one that I think is a little bit easier, but these are super interactive. So I wouldn't say they are hard, but they're they're ideas that are going to take a little bit more patience. Now, I got some of these ideas from other YouTube channels, and when I do, I will go ahead and link their tutorial down below because I have things prepped out so that hopefully this video doesn't drag on too long, but I also want to make sure that you feel confident in making these. Um, I made, I took these cute little tags and wrote the details of each um, page idea so that I can remember when I'm looking back, maybe where I got the idea, if it came from a different cre creator or, um, you know, maybe what I titled it. And so I wrote, you probably can't read this, but this is called the flippy floppy fold out thingy, I think. Um, and I actually got this idea from Clemmy's Creations. So thanks to her. Um, and I, Whenever I'm using someone else's idea, I do sometimes change it up a little bit. So this is not going to be exactly how she made hers, but we're gonna get started and I try to make all of this super easy for you guys as well. I cut out some, basically I'm calling these mats because these are the pretty papers that are going to go over our base. Um, these are all printouts from Kara Brandon Creations. Uh, I believe these pages are from her Spring Bloom collection. If you want to see more on her print out, her printables, I will be having a video up soon. Okay, let's get started. And like I said, I try to make this as easy as possible. So we're going to get started with two basically folded cards. I'm using a file folder. Loving this because it's super thick and they're inexpensive. So these are about four inches by six inches. You can change up the sizes if you want. So since I have two, what I'm going to do is actually attach the, the these two, <laughs> so right in the center, and I'll probably just use some glue for now. I may end up going to the sewing machine, but we're gonna take advantage of placing these together so that we'll have a top loading pocket. Wait, do I want it to be top? Sorry, do I want it to be top loading? Because, let me think about that. That might've given it away what I'm doing here, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll do top loading. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add glue around the three edges. Some of these pages that we're going over, like I just kind of got the inspiration and idea for it. So bear with me if there's a few holdups as I'm creating. That really happens no matter what actually, because I'm always, I have so many different ideas in my head that sometimes I just gotta try to stay on track the best that I can. Okay. 
this. So there we go. I think all of these ideas, I start out by making a base and then you decorate that base. And I find that to be the easiest way to doing these creative pages. Okay, so now we have that. So now we have kind of like, it can be an accordion fold paper. So really you could use one piece of paper if you wanted that was long enough, but now we have that top loading pocket. So that's good. And then we're gonna take two more, I guess, folded cards. These ones are top folding. And I'm gonna do that same thing where I place these together. Now these are four inches, but they're not quite six. We'll say they're five and a half. So when folded, it's four inches by about five and a half inches. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing and we will go ahead and trying to just imagine also, I think for these ones, I'm just going to add glue on the top and bottom. This is just gonna give us so many different places to tuck things in and have little hidden spots for all the journaling and things that we want in our journals. Just make sure that you're not gluing over that fold mark. Just make sure everything lines up the best that it can. Whoops. We're just gonna wait for a minute and let this dry. Now that this is mostly dry, we're going to take the first accordion fold and we're going to take the top folding one and attach it right here on the far left. And once again, we can just go ahead and add glue on like three of the edges. You can completely glue these down. It might get kind of bulky adding more things in the pockets on this type of a fold out, but I would always just take the chance and glue part of it. Oh, and that's right, this one's a little bit shorter, so I should have added that glue a little bit down. That's okay. Again, we'll just wait for it to dry. I'm not worried about this getting messy with glue because we're gonna be covering everything. I really can't even get the whole thing in frame, but you basically have this L-shaped folded papers. And now really all is left to do is to decorate. And so I already pre-cut some pretty papers and I'm basically just going to cover most of them. Um, I think that it would be super fun to, you could add all kinds of things to each square, but just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna kind of keep it basic. And I'm just gonna get started by gluing on the pretty papers in different ways. I may add a few pockets, but let's start with the covering. With the way that this folds, the right-hand side panel will be the cover. You can see how that works. And so just keep in mind, if you wanted to decorate this in a certain way because it's the cover, um, I already just placed the paper down and I'm going to actually take one of these clear adhesive pockets so that it doesn't cover the full page, but we can still put some fun things in the pocket. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start covering each panel with plain paper, sorry, not plain paper, but just a full sheet of this pretty paper. I thought it might be fun to change up a couple of the panels. And so for this one, I actually just tore around my little design here. Sometimes I'm just clearly <laughs> inspired by the paper designs, but I'm gonna add a little ink. I'm going to ink around the entire edges of this. So I figured this will kind of match. And then I'm just going to glue on this paper in an L shape, so we'll have a little tuck spot. This is already gonna be a pretty bulky page, so you won't wanna add too many bulky things in the pockets, but a simple tag or journaling card will fit perfect for this one. 
And then remember we have, I think it was a top loading pocket on this, was it this center? <laughs> I believe, yes, it was. So I have a tag here and maybe we'll decorate that as well. Hopefully I did the correct, there we go. But for now, we'll just put a tag in there so I can remember. But I'm going to go ahead and just cover these ones with plain paper. I am covering the backs of these as well. You don't necessarily have to, but I think it will just be extra pretty. And so I'm just going to cover this last panel with this. And then I have one more place on. So this goes up here. And then back here, I have this last one and I don't have another mat cut out. So I'm actually going to use one of these little pre-made pockets that came in this kit that I'm using. Um, let's see, should we do this one? Oh, we could almost layer. Okay, let's layer. Just going to fold these. So I'll glue this one down and then we'll add on a second little pocket just for cuteness factor. I'm trying not to add too much glue so that I don't have a lot of dry time. I said that as I got glue everywhere. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to glue this little one on top here. Let's go ahead and finish this off. I'm just going to place a little journal card in this pocket. A lot of these ideas I would probably decorate a little bit more and I may add final touches like sewing details, um, but for the sake of this video, I always try to keep these as more of a base idea so that it's not too much and you can always make it your own. So we're gonna just put a couple tags in there like that. This is the front and it might be cute. I have these tags cut out from Kara Brandon's, uh, I think it's like her rainbow kit. Would that be too much since it's a different color? I kind of like it. When I was printing these tags, my ink had just started going out, but I love the design so much that I was like, well, I'm still gonna use them. Like, look how pretty these are. So still using them. Let's see, I have this tag as well. I think this one kind of goes a little bit more and I'll probably add some lace. I'm just going to ink around the edges and then I'll show you the final booklet. Here is the final flippy floppy fold out thing. I'm going to put my little tag in here. And so I added some ribbon at the bottom and I just literally taped it to the back on here and then on the inside pocket, just because I imagine it's going to get pretty chunky. I just didn't want to cover up the design very much. So I'll close, have that tied to keep it closed. So you have this page and then you can open it this way and then out like this. And then over here, if you pull it up, you have this little side pocket. I just put an index card with a little um, embellishment stapled on. You have your little pocket here and then all of these pages. So I am super excited. I think this will be really fun. That's right. We had our little middle pocket and I just put a manila tag. Okay. So let's move on to the next because boy, this is going to take us some time. Next up is an idea that I created in one of the last journals that I made, and we are using envelopes as the base. If you like using envelopes in your journals, stay tuned because I have um, another page ideas using envelopes. So we're gonna use three envelopes. Mine are, I think about five by seven inches, and you can use any envelopes doesn't have to be this kind of flap, but I like these ones because they're a little bit thinner. I got them from Amazon and I'll link it below. So basically we're gonna nest these in to one another like this and then like this. We're gonna flip this over and we will take the adhesive. If you don't, if yours don't have adhesive, you can just glue them down and do it to the next one. 
but we're going to keep the last one untouched because that's how we will attach it to the page. It will just fold over the side of your page. So I have some pieces that are already cut out as kind of a mat. And so for this first one, we are actually going to create some pockets. And this is just going to be a little booklet of different pockets, really. Uh, I think I titled it booklet full of pockets. <laughs> okay, but we're going to do like a crisscross. I'm not going to measure anything. So we're just keep, so you want one full page An image page is really cool. I used an Edith Holden book page when I first did this and I loved how it looked. And we are going to make sure to ink up where the pocket is. I just love how you're using an image and breaking it up into pockets. I think it looked really cool. You can totally cut out a little notch if you want along the top of your pocket, but I sort of liked keeping everything intact so that it lines up perfectly. Okay, so now this is kind of just like doing a little puzzle and we're gonna glue this down just along the bottom and sides. Again, this would look really cool having it um, sewn. Just glue that down. Now this one, we're going to actually be gluing on that angle because it's going to be its own pocket. I'm trying to be careful, I don't want the glue to leak out. So I'm actually just gonna Smooth that out a little bit because then we would close up the bottom pocket. And we are going to line that up just about touching, just like when it was one piece. Might definitely a little bit easier matching up something like this, where it's has kind of a collage look to it. Whoops, that needs to come down a little bit. Luckily with this glue you do have a little bit of wiggle time. And then for the top piece we're doing that same exact thing. Now this is just going to be a small top pocket because this page does come all the way to the top of our page, but since this is going in a journal that's a little bit taller than this, it'll be okay to add things that are a little bit taller than the pocket, if that makes sense. Same thing, we're just gonna line this up best we can. Now I didn't even get that perfect, so I'm just gonna trim off a little bit of the side. By the way, I'm using pages for this one from Cara Brand. All of the printables are from Cara Brandon's shop. I think this one is a mixture of her rainbow kit and nature's palette. I'm hoping I got that right. Okay, so we're gonna move on to decorating the next page. And so when we open it, we have this pocket over here and then we have a full page. And I'm basically just adding a bunch of different page ideas um, into this little booklet, if that makes sense. So this is definitely a bit more simple. So I'm gonna take this page right here and fold it in half and I'm gonna go ahead and ink around all the edges quickly. And this is going to be a double pay or sorry a, a double pocket. And I'm gonna take my hole punch here and do a half circle notch so that you can see that it's a pocket. We could decorate this if we wanted, um, add lace, things like that. Again, this is another one that's really cute sewn on. Just gonna add glue on three edges. 
that. And sorry, I'm also adding glue down that center now. This way we'll have two separate pockets. For this page over here, since it does have that pocket, I am actually simply just going to cover it. I'm trying to think. I think I'm just going to kind of, for fun, do a little tear so that you'll notice there's a pocket and it's always fun to have a little bit of texture. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Add ink around those white edges. And we're just going to go ahead and glue this one flat down. Sorry, not flat down. We're going to glue around the edges again. Like that. And for the last one, we are going to have a little belly band. Ooh, this one's so pretty. I should have used that for like the cover. That's okay. So I'm gonna glue this one completely down. And for the belly band, I just found some wallpaper and I'm actually going to do something I used to love doing, fold it in half so that you have a belly band, but then you'll have this little secret spot for any kind of journaling. I'm going to decorate the top of the belly band though, and I'm just going to add some lace and I'm just going to actually staple that on. like that and then I'm just gonna layer on a few things just for fun we'll just do like a little cluster I think that would be good just like that I'm also stapling this on can I reach oh, I tell you I always run out of staples right when I'm filming <laughs> Okay, so for this one, you just need to add glue to the two sides, like this. And then, I don't even wanna cover this pretty paper because it's beautiful. But, just go like that. And then I'm gonna place something heavy on it so that we can move on to the last page we need to cover. And for this one, I am also just going to, I think I'm just going to glue it down, actually. Let's use the orange paper. I think it'll look nicer next to it. And I'm actually just going to add glue all over this time, like this. I went ahead and covered the back page too, since you will be able to open the whole booklet. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to cover this flap because this will wrap around to the other side and I think it's fun to use this as a little side pocket. So when you go to attach it, and I'll show you these in the journal at the end of this video, I believe. <laughs> and anyways you would just glue at the top and bottom and then you'll have a side tuck okay so i just need to fill this up and ink around all of the edges here it is got three pockets on the front little side pocket right here the two pockets over here belly band and a pocket on the back. Next up, we are going to create a little file folder, waterfall, 
situation. Um, I got this idea from actually one of my own videos that was titled mini album inspired journal pages. And it was really just that. Okay, real quick, I'll, I'll keep talking in a minute, but I'm using a file folder as the base and I am just folding that. No, sorry. This is actually cardstock eight and a half by 11, folding it in half. And I'm going to get started by gluing some pretty paper down. This is the kit, I believe, called Nature's Palette. Anyways, um, I originally was super inspired by mini album ideas and um, pages. And so I used those ideas and kind of morphed them into more of a junk journal style. And so the, the um, pages were very like clean cut and I got a lot of the interactive element ideas from mini albums, specifically Genevieve Designs and Rosa Kelly. Yes, Rosa Kelly. Okay, so we're gonna get started now with the waterfall part and you're going to need a piece of paper. Mine is 11 inches by about three inches and this is pretty easy, but you're gonna fold it in half, start by folding it in half. If you have a scoreboard, you can make score marks that are about a fourth of an inch apart from one another. Now, if you can see, I have fold marks. I simply just folded mine. So I would basically fold one that's about a fourth of an inch, and then I would fold down again, and you can see that they're not even completely perfect. And so I have, besides the middle fold, I have one, two, three, four, five. And each of these lines will be a place where we're going to place a journaling card. I hope that makes sense. And so I cut these out. And when you go to glue these on, it's really important to make sure that the glue is not going to seep onto the next. And so you might want to take time in between to make sure it dries or use double-sided tape. I am just simply going to add the littlest bead of glue like that. And which one do I want for the top? I like the purple. So then I'm gonna just make sure that's not too much glue and I will glue this down. Again, I'm making sure that this is in between the fold marks. And then basically we can fold that over like that. And then we'll have our next little section. So I hope that makes sense. And so we're just gonna continue gluing one after another. I am gonna give this some more dry time than I normally do. So as that's gluing, you're also going to need a second little paper, which I call a belt. And you will want this to be the width of your page. And then I'm just going to continue gluing these on off camera so I can take my time with glue. Since the backs of the journaling cards are just white, I'm going to go ahead and ink up the backs, but you can also, you know, have a double-sided paper or you can even put like pockets on the backs. And I think that would be a really fun way to decorate them. I'm going to go one by one, but I'm just going to use ink for now and the stencil. So I'll finish this up. Now we are going to take the bottom here and I'm going to put an eyelet in the bottom center as like a little pull tab. And I have a cute little heart eyelet. You could just punch a hole though, or you could add a tab on here. Whoops, are we stuck? Okay, and then I just have a little bit of 
trim and I will just place this through the center. I'm going to go ahead and actually trim the first folded half. Um, you would have room if you wanted to add like another journaling card, but I'm just going to go ahead and trim it since I don't really need it to be that long. And then, then you will be able to peek and see the little eyelet. Okay, so even a little bit more. <laughs> Ink that up. Then we're going to go back to our base page. We're going to go ahead and place down our little belt. It's basically like a belly band. So I'm just going to glue the two sides down. This is such pretty paper. I'm always like, I don't want to cover this up. <laughs> you want to make sure that your belly band will be a good placement for your waterfall piece. So if you had it too far down, the waterfall would fall off of the page, if that makes sense. So somewhere in the center is usually good. So you're gonna take your waterfall mechanism and we're gonna slide it under like this. And then we're actually going to attach this part to the, to the belt. And so I'm just gonna figure out where I want it to be placed. I think right about here is good. And so you don't wanna glue anywhere along the fold marks, but you're gonna glue this down just right where it touches the belly band. And I may add more glue. I kinda just wanna play around and make sure that everything is good for placement. And basically what you'll do from here is you're going to take your little pull tab. Now we haven't quite dried, so I feel like I should hold that down, but well, let's see if we can do it without it drying. So this is how you do it. And then you can basically pull it back up just like that. So this is super fun. It obviously works better when everything's dry, but one more time. And I love it with this, um, this kit. I'm going to add a little bit more glue and we'll let it dry. While we let this dry, I did want to make one more part to this little fold out and we are going to create something to go on the inside and then we'll just cover this side, probably using this paper right here, but let's set this aside and put something heavy on it. And we are going to take a piece of paper. It's eight and a half by 11. And we're just gonna create a little envelope just like that, pretty simple. So we fold it into thirds. This is one of my favorite envelope methods. I am going to angle the edges just slightly, just like that. And we'll go ahead and just glue down the two sides. I may take this one over to the sewing machine and sew around the edges. I think that would be cute. And then for the closure on this one, I'm actually just going to use some Velcro dots. I talk about these Velcro dots quite a bit. I really like how slim they are and I get them from Amazon. So I will place a link in the description for you guys, I'm actually going to use two since this is a pretty long envelope. So I close it and press down to get the best placement. And then just carefully, your first time, be careful opening it up. But once you make sure that everything's pressed down good, you are good to go. And again, since we have white on the inside, I think I am just going to once again, use a stencil and ink. And then this will go on the inside of our little booklet. We will glue this down and I just glued around three edges. So we'll have a top loading pocket on top of this envelope. And I did go ahead and covered the left side of this little booklet. I just really like using little booklets um, for my interactive pages and then 
either having like a more in-depth interactive element on one of the pages and then some simple elements in the others if that makes sense so i just made a top loading pocket over here and then i did a little um a little cute decoration down here i'm gonna put my little tag in there so let's take a look here and i sewed around the edges let's hope this works now that everything's dry yay so much fun i love it and then we have this cute little booklet with a pocket and an envelope next up we have a corset binding pocket I have my little tag here and I got this idea for myself. <laughs> so I have a tutorial showing it, but I'm going to change it up a little bit this time just to make it a little bit different. And so you're going to start out with a paper if you want it to be this size, six by 12 inches. And you can see, I just fold in the two sides to meet in the middle. And then you're going to take the top two corners and fold those down. I am using scrapbook paper for this. I just wanted something double sided. I accidentally kept the branding strip on. And so we have a little circle here, but we'll work with that. We'll just do something with that. So in the original idea, I added holes along the fold marks and laced it up, but I thought it'd be fun to do holes all the way down. So I'm going to take my crocodile. You can use a hole punch as well. And I am just, I'm not measuring this out, obviously, because when do I ever, I am just going to punch some holes going up. And I guess I'll try to make it as even as possible. But let's see, I am putting eyelets in all of these, so I should keep that in mind. This is gonna take up a lot of eyelets. And then we'll do about four along here. And you are going to punch through. Um, I want this to be in a little bit more. You want to punch through both sides of the paper. One, two. You can totally measure so that everything will be spaced out evenly. Now I'm going to go ahead and punch those same holes on this side. In my attempt to actually measure, I put a little dot to try to line up the holes. And funny enough, my holes were too far in and didn't actually punch out the little dots, but not a biggie. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead now and place an eyelet in all of these holes. And I'm using some fun little eyelets that I have. So I'm just going to, I'll do one real quick. And then I will finish placing the eyelets off camera. Now, just a, one more thing. Don't worry, if you don't have eyelets, you can totally just punch the holes and it'll still be super cute. That was actually more time consuming than I thought it was going to be, but now we just have to lace up the holes and you can start at the bottom or the top. I do like to go from the inside to the back. So I'm just going to put both of my ends through. And then, yeah, you can lace this through however you want. So I will just lace mine all the way up, just like a shoe. So crisscrossing back and forth. You can tie the top however you want. Also, you could also keep the string separate on each side. But what I do think is fun is to add some charms to the ends. And this is kind of a thicker thread, so I will have to be, it would be a little hard to get it through this one, but this will be fine. So I'm gonna use a little heart, or sorry, a little rose charm. And then I will fuss with getting the leaf on in just a minute. Now, what you can do is if you want, you can keep it open like this and put it in your journal and use it however you want. I am actually going to 
glue the bottom so that whatever I put in here as a pocket can't fall all the way through. So just like that, we'll let that dry and then you can see how cute it will look with a tag. I love this one and this is definitely one of the interactive ideas that I use over and over. So let's move on to the last. The fifth idea is called 10 Terrific Tucks on one journal page. And this idea is actually from Camellia Crafts Designs. She has an awesome YouTube channel. So again, I'm gonna put her tutorial down below. I've changed it up just a bit. So we are going to use, I think we're using all printables from the Spring Bloom collection. So we start with an eight and a half by 11 paper. And I didn't measure any of the folds as usual, but I fold over the first one about um, almost like an inch. And then for this part, I just folded it into thirds. However, the, the last fold you can see is a little bit skinnier. So I hope that makes sense. Now you could do, you could fold it in thirds equally, but I just kind of thought this would work best for what I had in mind. Okay, so we're gonna start out. I already cut out some two inch circles and I glued them on the back of some heavy cardstock. And these are actually going to go on here like so. And these will be each a tuck spot. But let's go ahead and work on the inside here first. Okay. So I have, again, mats cut out to cover any of the white. And this part right here is going to have three different pockets. And so I'm just going to go ahead right now and fold somewhat equal folds like that. And those will be our little quadrants for pockets. I'm going to go ahead and ink up on the fold marks like that. Okay. And I'm also going to take my circle punch and let's see, I could do notches or we could use more eyelets. I decided on half circle notches, so I'm just going to punch this all out once. Just like that. And then I can go ahead and glue this on and I'm just going to glue around the edges and then within each little fold mark. I ended up sewing this. Now I'm going to open this now and this part I am going to also cover and I am going to cut out a little notch and this one is just going to be a nice big side pocket. So I'm just going to add glue. We'll cover up that sewing on the inside as well. Trying not to get on that fold mark. Line that up the best I can. Okay. Now, try to let this dry. And then over here, we have pretty paper, but I'm going to cover it to create two more pockets. And I think I'm going to end up having 11 tucks or pockets in this. I think I may have done it a little bit different than Camellia Crafts Designs, but that is kind of the fun of using someone's idea and making your own. So for this one, yeah, we're gonna have just two side pockets. So same thing, I'm gonna ink this up 
and just glue it down here. And I may go ahead and sew this on as well. I'm gonna go ahead and cover the back page. And I just cut out a piece of paper here that my ink had run out, but I cut a notch at the top. So this will be a top loading big pocket. Oops, a little too long, but that's okay. I'll just trim that. And, oh, we don't need glue at the top, Jessica. This is a pocket. <laughs> it can get confusing sometimes with all the different pockets in a page like this. Okay, but now we can finish off the very last part. I was originally going to attach these with eyelets. However, I found out that my my crocodile wouldn't actually reach in far enough. So I'm going to use little brads. And so uh, first of all, I'm just using the crocodile to punch a tiny hole. And I want it to be near the bottom. Let's see, I think we'll just go with that. We will mostly punch through all of those. And then I can figure out which order I want these to be in. That's good. And we're going to start at the bottom for placement. I have my little awl to help me punch the holes. And this, I kind of have to go slightly off the table here. The only thing that you have to keep in mind with using eyelets in your journals is that, you know, they are somewhat bulky. And so obviously I am creating interactive um, pages on purpose and allowing for that space in my journal, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to continue placing all of these and you may want to kind of overlap them just a touch so that the top one, yeah, just so they'll fit well enough. Okay, yep. I'll continue placing these. A few tips now that I have attached these. One, when I was placing the brads, I didn't really take into account that I was going to overlap these slightly. So I had to move a couple of them, like the T1, you can see the little hole next to it. That's okay, it's all a learning experience, doesn't have to be perfect. And the next thing is I did end up sewing these on halfway. And if you only use a brad, they're not gonna be able to really hold too much. So I would either add glue around half of the circle or like how I did it, I uh, sewed them. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this almost not big enough piece of paper that I just have and I will cover up the back just completely and then we are done. This was one of my favorite interactive pages. I'm not exactly sure how I want to set up my journal yet, so I'm not actually putting these in here, but I'm going to show you how I would place them on a journal page, and I think we'll start here on the second signature. So let's go ahead, we'll go from here. So I filled this up, and so again, you have 10 different tuck spots. Just wanted to show you it filled up since I didn't last time. So we have this little flap here. So for this one, I would actually just glue on the flap just like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you would be able to flip it open like that. So there's that one. With this one, remember we have this little tuck that goes around to the other page like this. And then so then on the other page, it looks like this, and then you would have a side pocket. This one is pretty self-explanatory. You would just place it down and it takes up most of the page. When you glue this down, you could glue it down several ways. You could glue it so you have another pocket behind, or you could glue it on top and bottom so that you have a side pocket. Lots of options with that one. And then the little booklet, I would probably just simply glue it straight down, but this is one that you could also just clip in and have as a floating. I gotta do this one more time because it's so fun. <laughs> 
and then same with this one you could glue it down or you could clip it in and just for a little reminder since this is the first one we did just like that and then just like that well this video was super fun i really didn't realize how long this was going to take me much longer I hope that you guys got some inspiration and I can't wait to show you this journal all filled up. With that said, I will see you guys soon and have a lovely day. Bye.